Welcome everybody. I'm Dr. Manjunath. Today we have a very important topic to be discussed and that is the prevention of allergies and asthma from happening. How do we do that? Stay tuned. Prevention at an individual level is perhaps the most important thing what we can think of today. Wherever possible, minimize the main roads. Avoid traveling in two wheelers. Even bicycles or even walking in main road may be a little difficult. But if you can have the luxury, travel in a car. That's better. Even the public transports are far better than your uh, two wheelers. That said, it's the COVID era. Everybody has got used to wear a mask. That's good in a way. If you can wear the mask, be compliant and have a proper mask etiquette, I'm pretty sure all of you will be evading the allergies and asthma to a large extent. That's what we have seen over the last one year. We have uh, had a very little exposure to allergens and the children who have been coming to our clinics have reduced substantially because of wearing proper mask or probably staying indoors at a, for a long, much longer time. Pregnant mothers need to be very careful. They need to be wary of their habits, whether it is smoking, alcohol, eating a lot of meat or getting exposed to, you know, too much of allergens. So those things have to be kept in mind because those Pregnant mothers are likely to transmit their diseases vertically to the next generation. So this is a very susceptible uh, population. So we need to be careful in that part. And we have the next most important population and that is the school going children. So over years, over decades, what we have seen is children are playing less and less in proper sunlight. 11 a.m to 3 p.m. is the best time for the ch for a child to play outside. But what's observed in our country is though it's a tropical country with abundant sunlight, most of the kids are exposed to sunlight in the morning or rather late evening. So it's of no use. We want ultraviolet B rays to be exposed to children. So that can happen between 11 a.m. to 3 p.m. We need to have schools uh, staying away from the main areas. Uh, where there is no industries, uh, not many vehicles traveling around. So those are the schools which we want for our kids. And at the same time, the school should be very compliant. They should allow the kids to play in sunlight to have the maximum benefits of sunlight. With that, it is observed the vitamin D production is also high. And at the same time, the lung compliance, the lung capacity also gets better. So as I said, as we discussed, first thing is reducing the exposure. Second is improvising your susceptibility. So how do we do that? So we have to reduce the oxidant injury happening to our, our cells. And how do we do that? By increasing the antioxidant properties in our body. So it has been observed for those population, those who are exposed to a lot of diesel exhaust, if they were given off 1200 milligrams of n acetylcysteine that's a good antioxidant their symptoms were reduced to a large extent they were less susceptible and they were coughing less at night in comparison to those population which did not receive the n acetylcysteine so it goes to say that when we have antioxidant levels which are very high in our body then we have a good defense against the exposure though there is exposure you are immune or rather less susceptible for developing allergies and asthma for our cells. Uh, oral sulforaphane, that's a component, it's a very good antioxidant which is there prevalent in many of our food products. The most important we have is the broccolis, uh, uh, sprouts, turnips, cabbages, cauliflowers. These are the cruciferous vegetables. That means they have, they have the cross-like uh, uh, vegetable pattern. So these are the ones who have very good antioxidant properties. And then uh, speaking about the nutritional supplementation, uh, we have the vitamin A, vitamin E, vitamin C. We have already discussed about the vitamin D part. So these ones are very important. So the alpha tocopherol or the vitamin E is 
uh, is helpful in the epithelial regeneration ascorbic acid that's the vitamin c is also helpful in the epithelial regeneration of the uh, of the endothelium and so it has been observed in those children who have allergies lot of allergies and asthma the lining or the the respiratory epithelium lining has more less of vitamin uh, c and vitamin e within the cells though the blood levels of vitamin a and vitamin c are good enough they had lesser levels so that goes to say that supplementation uh, of these products might be helpful in preventing the allergies and asthma along with the personal protection if you can reduce the ambient air pollution we're in a much better place and how do we do that so that's the government uh, commitment towards bringing down the environmental pollution and the responsible bodies working towards that so discussing that part is beyond the scope of this video and that's not what we are here for we are here for the individual protection protecting ourselves despite the ambient air pollution so uh, with that i'm going to end this video please like share subscribe and spread the word so this is these this is these videos are rather important uh, for our lives so help grow this channel as much as possible so stay tuned we'll be back with another important video or other interesting video bye bye